What's the most hypocritical thing you've witnessed? I was having a hard time getting a job after college. My step-grandmother called me every single name in the book. Every variation of deadbeat dependent loser you can possibly think of. Almost every since time I saw her. No self-discipline. No drive. Too dependent on others. I can't believe you can't get a job. I taught my daughters how to work. You're definitely your mother's child. I had expectations for my own kids. All I knew is I had to work. This is the same person who never had a job in her life. Wasn't able to collect her own social security since she never paid into it. And was 100% dependent on my grandpa. Way to call the kettle black. It got so bad. I had to stop talking to her altogether since each convo would just be putting me down. If I were you, I wouldn't even call her. Yo you never call an IMO re w hearties the matter we thyou. I'm you our family. There was a girl in one of my classes that spent the entire class on Facebook every single day. During a presentation she was giving one day someone noticeably checked their email. We all saw but. We all also knew that she was on Facebook every single day for the entire class. That's why we were all very surprised when she stopped the presentation to scream at this person for being rude and disrespectful and then stormed out. Honestly she probably just needed a way to get out of the presentation and jumped at the opportunity, then wrote in the burn book. Better than writing in the death note. My ex-wife, shortly after we separated, told me when slash if I started seeing someone that she would want to meet them before our kids did, which makes perfect sense. Two months later the guy she had an affair with moved from NC to FL and in with her and my two kids. I still haven't met him and it's been six months. What the fuck dude I'm sorry. My girlfriend criticizes me for always being on my phone yet is seemingly unaware how much she is on hers. Backslash backslash girlfriend on TikTok last hour a backslash backslash pick up phone. To go on reddit backslash 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 girlfriend immediately puts phone down. And says you're always on your phone and don't want to spend time with me backslash backslash. Oh god that hits home. It's okay for my boyfriend to play poker for 5 hours on my phone. I go on reddit for 5 minutes and I'm told him always on the phone all the time. But if I say to him that he is on the phone for 5 hours and ignored me, I'm told to fuck off. Like WTF. Edit. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has contacted me and reached out. You have all had my smiling, laughing and snotty crying all at the same time. I'm taking on board everything that is being said and I'm building the strength to tell him where to go. In my moments of doubt I will come back to these comments for strength. Are you literally told to fuck off? If so, I'd like to echo the throw the whole man away sentiment. Yeah. He will tell me to fuck off and leave me alone when he upsets me. He makes out that I'm the bad guy. I'm being punished for his actions at the moment. He walked out day before nigh and didn't get in touch with me for air up 7 days knowing what it would be doing to my mental health. You're better off without him. I don't know your situation. But no one deserves to be treated so poorly. Someone from work just got back from a holiday visiting family who live out of the continent. Went from the nightclubs pretended to be closed but were open for anyone that knew. Had so much fun finally going out for a drink to I can't believe how bad covered is here and so many people aren't following the rules. It's infuriating. Real fucking quick. Gotta love how they go from breaking restrictions to telling you to listen to them. Can't they just choose a position and stick with it? <laughs> Reading stories on the only moral abortion is my abortion. Apostrophe. Drugged and in the stirrups talking about how everyone in the room but her is going straight to hell. Wish I could say I didn't know hypocritical pieces of shit like this. X would get mad at me for having guy acquaintances, not even friends really. Just from classes or work, and police my phone and life and the fucker was cheating on me. I've heard that this is a thing that happens to cheaters actually. They get paranoid that the person they cheated on will cheat too because if they were able to do it wouldn't the other person be able to too? It's weird but yeah it's a thing. Yeah I had an ex who was paranoid of me cheating and was very critical of any other girl in my life who was in my life. So one day she left her phone next to me while she was in the other room 
and saw a text come in from one of her female cowhawkers, but the message didn't seem like it was from another girl. Turns out she changed the name of her ex to a cowhawker in her contacts, and was still in close contact with him including sexting and sending nudes all the time, and hooking up when he came back to town. All the while being paranoid of me so much as talking to another girl. Fuck I'm sorry that happened to you. Gives me shivers. She was even gaslighting me into thinking I was insecure of her just friends, and I was the villain for cheating so much. I mean I get hit on a lot. Sometimes shamelessly so it would be natural to be worried, but it's different when she assumed I was messing around with anyone I was talking to. There's just no winning when someone is always the victim. Even if they're the one actively doing what they're the victim of. I've noticed that pretty much any time someone uses the phrase, if you don't like it, leave. It only applies to other people. That person will have no problem complaining endlessly and not leaving. If you don't like it, leave. Translation, I can't handle criticism, so I will deflect any attempt to criticize me by telling the critic to just leave and stop criticizing me. My friends who bitch about people who break lockdown, then go on to break lockdown for sleepovers and jelly nights the same day they were criticizing others. Infuriatingly entitled. Others must follow the rules, but they don't apply to me. Are they elected officials? That seems pretty regular lately. 2020 was the year of the hypocrisy these kind of people just pretend stay home to call other people of genocidals. Egg stories. Lately, a post saying shit like, don't forget to wear a mask, we're all in this together, stay safe everyone, followed by a series of videos taken inside of a crowded club, bumping and grinding up on each other, not a mask in sight, it's lit, fam, we're all in this together. Me on my private island with friends and a team of servants. I suffer just as hard as you in your studio apartment scrounging for next month's rent. Now listen to me sing imagine with my other rich friends. Here's a fucking Pepsi. Oh, perfect example. When I was in college there was a super immature guy that I believe only got into our private school because his parents had money. One day we were sitting in his dorm room watching TV and he speaks up. Got don't you just hate people who steal things for no reason? The rest of us turned and stared in disbelief. Behind him on a shelf was a collection of all the things he'd stolen from businesses. I remember Red Robin seasoning and bowling shoes, but there was a lot more. A glimmer of self-awareness pierced through his thick skull and he backtracked somewhat. I mean for me, it's like back quote my thing, but still. What did he say when you guys called him on that? I wish I could remember. This was many years ago. Dude was probably a pathological liar. I remember him telling a story about driving 205 miles per hour on the interstate highway in the middle of the day through a big city, known for its traffic. We kind of ignored most of what he had to say. Ha. Huh. Totally full of shit. I think ignoring was the right approach. I worked for a small company that hated, hated giving out raises. The owners pulled a neat trick where they sold the company to itself. Then they became board members as soon as they weren't responsible for the revenue. After all they got the money for the sale. We were getting berated for everyone having a low salary. It was like you set our prices and the salaries as of last month. We don't have any funds because you sold the business to itself and we need to pay that note. He was right and we worked on fixing it. But suddenly being blindsided due to being in the position he created drove me nuts. Possibly a dumb question. But how exactly do you sell a company to itself? What does that mean? It was an S corp. They created an ESOP, employee stock ownership plan. The company then took out a loan to buy the stock and place it in the plan. With the owners becoming board members and getting a trustee, it was a neat little trick to sell the company. Now the employees that stayed in the company got stock in their retirement account, forced to sell it back to the trust when you leave. So it was a good thing, as long as the company stayed solvent. They got their act together the same year I left, also removed the former owners. So many employees did very well. But it could have just as easily collapsed under the loan and other demands.